Hey guys and gals, Nary here from Drake Wing Gaming. As some of you know me on Twitter, the Gaming Drag. Today I'm coming back at you another Let's Play episode of Cilio, Tales of a New Dawn. We're just going ahead and jumping right back into Diego's route, y'all. So sit back and enjoy as I entertain you, and let's jump right in. Alarm chain, you are up, and let's go. Okay. <clears throat> Alright. I suppose I at least won't have to wait long to get to the bottom of it all. Not far off now. Sorry, I didn't expect this to be so difficult. Bah, tangles aside. It's actually kind of nice when it's you doing the brushing. Heh, <laughs> I'm glad you think so. It's nice spending quality time with my favorite guy. Heh, <laughs> I agree. I'm happy, when I'm, I'm happy when I'm with you, even if even when it hurts. I was working the brush down Diego's back, forcing my way through various lumps and knots when suddenly I was interrupted by a loud thump. What the hell was that? Uh, oh, nothing. Huh. I resumed brushing only for a short moment before the thump repeated itself. Huh? I continued brushing for the sound to only repeat itself several more times. It was during those repetitions I finally noticed what was happening. When I brushed this particular spot, Diego was involuntarily kicking his right leg. Uh, that good, huh? Sh shut up, I can't help it. I brushed again, eliciting an identical reaction before Diego grew fed up and snatched the brush from me. He grabbed me by my shoulders and spun me around before lifting my shirt and running the brush down my back instead. H hey, what the- And wouldn't you know it, my right leg began to stomp the floor entirely out of my control. Heh, <laughs> same spot. It's different for everybody, but not for us. Must mean we're soulmates. Okay, okay, I get the point. I'm sorry. Well, now I know Now I know exactly how to torment you when you get on my nerves. If you do, I'll torment you right back. You'll have to pry the brush from my cold, dead hands. Diego, having had his fun, gave my back a gentle brushing while he was there. Unlike his fur, mine contained no knots for the brush to get stuck on. Ah, this is kind of nice. You like that, huh? I do. We should make this a regular thing. I'll brush you and you brush me. Sound good? I don't know. It kind of hurts. If we keep on top of it, you won't have that problem. Come on, please. I wagged my tail and smiled sweetly in an attempt to sway Diego. And what do you know? It worked. Heh. <laughs> All right. Can't resist that cute face of yours. Besides, any opportunity is a good one to explore your sexy body. Diego finished up with the section he was brushing before putting the brush down with a sigh. What's wrong? Duty calls. As much as I'd love to stay put, I don't think Ty would be happy if I was late. Yeah. Ugh, I'm not looking forward to this at all. Hate to remind you that you're the one who committed to it. I know, I know. Doesn't mean I'm looking forward to it. Honestly, I'm expecting Kyrex to kick off. Somehow I don't think Ty would tolerate that. You're assuming he'd have a choice. If it came to it, I doubt he'd be strong enough to restrain him. Hopefully he doesn't come to that. Remember that I won't be far away if you need me. Just a short walk. Just give me a call if I'm needed. Thanks, Brian. I will. Stay strong. You can do this. Diego flashed a quick smile before he threw his shirt on, planted a kiss on my cheek, and made his way out the front door. I sighed, wishing the moment he would, wishing the moment could continue just a little longer. Alas, I too was, I too was expected somewhere, and I quickly followed Diego's lead, heading out in the direction of Lucas's office. I arrived at Lucas's without a, so without a minute to spare, greeted by Lucas's sour face as I entered. Thankfully, I didn't seem to be the source of his scowls, his face lip as I entered the room. Ah, you're here. Good. Thank you for coming in. <clears throat> no problem. As long as I'm gone before the fight starts, I'm good. You remember that's today, right? That's why I called you in, actually. Uh oh We're working on materials for the upcoming mayor mayoral election. Nothing too big or too difficult, but it's still important. We want to make sure we don't fall behind. With that being said, we'd all like to see the final round of the tournament. So with an extra set of hands on board in the morning, we can afford to close up early. That way all of us can attend without us falling too far behind on our work. In other words, don't worry. We're all going together. Nobody will be missing it, least of all you. I see. That works for me. I don't mind the cash either, so mayoral election, huh? When well, When's that happening? In a few months. And it's a few months out yet. The people have to enroll to vote, which is what we're handling now. The contract is worth good money. Not that the election is worth, any is worth anything anyway. Not worth anything. What do you mean by that? Regardless of who the elected official is, it's the same guy pulling the strings. It's a matter of choosing your puppet. Nothing more. Water time. No, oh, damn it! That was my last sip of water. Yeah, all right. Jeez, but things aren't so bad in Woodcrest, right? Not at all. Said puppeteer is the town's best interest to heart. It may be a poor imitation of democracy, but it's not really a problem either. Is this a widely known thing? You'd think people would be more pissed off about it. Well, no, it's not. I just happen to be acquainted with the guy. I know how it is. Besides, like, it's like I said, 
He has the town's best interests at heart. If things were going poorly, such information would likely spread like wildfire, and people would no doubt be unhappy. But that isn't the case. How does something like this even happen? I thought there were laws against this sort of thing. I shouldn't really go into it. Just know that the vast majority of Woodcrest is privately owned by this one person. Makes him more powerful than the mayor by a long stretch. He who holds the purse strings holds the power. Or something like that. The more you know, I guess. I couldn't help but wonder who this person was and how they came to be in the, such a position of power. It was a far cry from most cities and towns, that was for sure. At the end of the day, Woodcrest was indeed thriving. Lucas was right in a sense, as so as long as everything was going well, there wasn't too much of an issue. Anyway, I hope you're not you're not opposed to addressing more envelopes. All the addresses are on the computer, just like last time. No problem. I'll get right on that. Thanks. I went to my desk to work to work at the opposite end of the room. I went to my desk on the opposite end of the room to Lucas and made a start on my work. There were thousands, hell, maybe tens of thousands of names names in the list. Thankfully, there were also one hell of a lot of envelopes this time around. Lucas was well prepared. It would take weeks to finish this list, even working on it full time. The next few weeks of working for Lucas were looking awfully boring. Many hours and several hundred envelopes later, I'd barely made a dent in the list of recipients. Just as I expected to go mad with boredom, Lucas called us all to attention. Alright, boys. That's all we're gonna fit in today. I hope you've got plenty done. I think I'm ahead of schedule. I did as much as I could. There's still so much left. That's fine. We've got plenty of time to work on it. Hopefully with Brian here, we got a full day's work done. I did my best, but, well, there's a lot. I don't expect to finish this job for a while yet. Your best bet, your best is plenty good enough. Now, is everyone ready to head down for the fight? Damn right. I love nothing more than sweaty, underdressed men. Hey, that's my boyfriend and his ex you're talking about. I know, I know. I'll just admire it from afar. I thought you didn't even like Kyrex. Eh, we didn't we didn't click. Doesn't mean he ain't a hot piece of ass. Oh, brother. Dom, is Axel going to be coming? Yep, he will be. We're going to be meeting up there. Cool, I can only assume Ty will be present too. Diego's with him now, as is Kyrex. Huh? Diego and Kyrex? What's going on? Uh, Ty's been trying to convince them both to talk out about talk out their problems. They both finally agreed to it. Jeez, before the fight? That could make things extra awkward. I can't imagine that's a fun conversation to be having. I know, I haven't heard from Diego yet, so I can only assume he's still it's still ongoing. Ty did mention something about that. I'm surprised he got them both to agree. As am I, but to be honest. Anyway, I assume Russell is coming, and uh, what about, say, what about Jay, Eric? Oh, yeah, I think he was coming. I'll text him to make sure. Logan, too. Wait, you have Logan's number? Ah, well, you see, it's like this. See, um, um, uh, there was this, uh, anyway, shall we get a move on? Yes, let's be on our way. Hopefully we arrive early enough that we can all sit together. Fine by me. Hey, he totally dodged my question. Our party arrived a little later than expected, with Dom and Eric insisting on changing into more casual attire before we departed. Once we finally left, we picked up an even we picked up even more of a delay with Eric taking a brief detour to buy something while the rest of us waited. Arriving back from this foray, he was in possession of a suspicious plain paper bag containing an object of which he wouldn't describe. Despite our curiosity, Eric was not budging, and the conversation was dropped right around the time our group arrived at the stadium. We all took our seats with only around ten minutes before the match was due to begin. Thankfully, there was enough space for all of us and a few extra chairs to boot for those for those uh, for those latecomers. We weren't even the first to arrive with Axel already being present and seated. Hey, Brian. Hey, Dom. Howdy, Axel. Been waiting long. Nope, only about five minutes. A little surprised to be the first one here. Ty and Russell haven't shown up yet? What about Diego and Kyrex? Nope, I haven't seen them. Yeesh, I hope everything's okay. I'm sure they'll be here. They wouldn't miss this. Assuming they didn't already have their fight at Ty's. Huh? Oh, right. They're talking it out at Ty's behest. Trying to find closure and all that. Oh, jeez. Hopefully they're okay and they arrive soon. We can only hope. I'm sure they'll be fine, right, boss man? Ty wouldn't let them rough each other up. Well, before they're in the ring, at least. He wouldn't let them be late, either. It'll be fine. Ah, you always know just what to say. Turning my gaze to the entrance, I noticed another familiar face enter. While it wasn't Diego, it was a welcome face, nonetheless. 
Ah, uh, if it isn't my wonderful husky acquaintance. Looking forward to the fight? I'd say I'm nervous, but nowhere near as nervous as Diego feels, I'm sure. That goes without saying, my dear friend, but hardly invalidates your own feelings. The final match the final match will be beginning in five minutes. If our combatants could please make their way to the ring. Hmm, it would seem we are missing a few spectators. Yep, and the contestants. I see. Fear not, there's time yet. H Hello? Ah, Logan, dear boy, so good to see you. Is, um, is Eric here? A motion behind, a motion behind me where Eric was standing, and Logan bashfully made his way over to him. How strange. Since when do those two know each other? Isn't that just the question? It would seem our socially awkward friend has taken an interest in Eric. Somehow that seems like the worst idea he could have. Or on the contrary, perhaps Eric will bring him out of his shell a little. Time will tell. Ah, here comes someone else. Yo, dude! Russell, hey, you work today, right? Totally did, my man. Where are the others? Oh, they weren't far behind me. Think Ty was giving them like a pep talk or something. As he said it, both Diego and Kyrex entered the building, walking only a short distance from one another and Ty taking up the rear close behind. What was most interesting was that the two were walking relatively closely together. While neither spoke, their proximity alone was something of a miracle. Upon having reached the corner of the ring, Kyrex went left and Diego went right, with Ty also, with Ty also choosing the latter. They approached Diego, greeting him. Diego! Hey, Brian. Jeez, the fight is about to start. You guys cut it fine. At least you're already changed. Had my fighting shorts on under my pants all along. Thought I was going to die of heat stroke at ties, though. Speaking of, how'd it go? The final match will begin in one minute. Contestants, please be ready to begin. Shit, cutting it close, all right. I'll clue, you, I'll clue you in later, okay? This big lizard and I have one last score to settle. I was disappointed, but Diego was right. It wasn't time for that now. I gave him a smile of understanding, and he nodded in response before heading down to the ring. As he climbed into the ring, I noticed Kyrex doing the same on the opposite end before, le before leaning against the post nonchalantly, waiting for the match to begin. Diego started stretching, using every last second of time he had to prepare himself. One and all, welcome to the final round of the Woodcrest Combat Tournament. Today's contestants have fought hard to be here, winning their matches in the heats, quarterfinals, and semifinals. As such, both competitors will deliver the very best Woodcrest has to offer. We're expecting a fierce round, the winner of which will be crowned this year's champion and will be awarded this year's belt. In the red corner, we welcome back last year's tournament champion, known for his vicious and powerful fighting style. Please welcome this ferocious velociraptor, Kyrex. And in the blue corner is his challenger, an unpredictable and highly entertaining fighter who puts strategy above all in order to claim victory. Please welcome this cunning dingo, Diego. Diego the dingo. As of each previous round, the rules are the same and bear not repeating. After all, why delay with such an exciting match ahead of us, right, folks? Without further ado, may the tense, pulse-pounding, and nail-biting final round of the Woodcrest Combat Tournament begin. Alright, so y'all, I think I'm gonna go ahead and pause it right there. We're gonna save the fight for the next episode. It ought to be, ooh, it ought to be fantastic. I I'm tired, y'all. I need to wind down anyway. Anyway, y'all, thank you all so much for watching. Sorry this episode was just a little bit shorter than the others. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, ring that notification bell. Leave a super thanks or a tip if you can, if it always helps. Until the next video, I love you all. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.